Merry Christmas, everybody. It's Christmas Day afternoon. The chaos is over. Most of the stuff has been cleaned up. I put it in that box. Uh, you guys want to see what Gary got for Christmas? There's the pile. Christmas socks. I always get Christmas socks. There is some cool stuff in there. PlayStation 4 game. Eh? Eh? I never did play that one. Sandra Bullock. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I also got a set of these. I'm holding the Rode microphones and I want to test them. They're both on right now and they're hooked up to the camcorder and I'm recording left and right audio. So what I want to do is now separate them, me wear one, stick one on some other willing victim in the house and try these out. This is going to be my solution for metal detecting, trekking with Stan, so that we can get both of us, and I don't have to repeat everything that Stan says while we're out in the bush, because you can never hear what he's saying. Okay, so now we are both mic'd up. I need you to say something. Hello. The turkey is in the oven. It'll be in there for seven hours. In an hour, I got to go get grandma. So you sound... You sound like a Russian spy. The turkey is in the oven. <laughs> Keep talking while you walk away. That's right. I have some choice words for you. <laughs> okay, so that was an unwilling victim test. And we'll, I'll go to the computer and see how it actually works. I think I want to keep each one of these channels separate. Because then when Stan's talking and he never stops talking, I can still... Cut him right out, mute him, and still have what I'm trying to say, or vice versa. If I'm interrupting him, can mute mine and keep him. So I think these are fantastic. I did get something I wanted to show you guys. Not the chocolate. This. Ha! For the hunting blind. I asked for a buddy heater, which we can hook into our propane tank. And that's going to heat up the... Uh, the little hunting blind. My wife and I went and checked on it. We took Gage for a walk this morning. We walked around the trail and it actually had caved in. There was a foot of snow on it. So the top had buckled in, but it hadn't blown over. So we did fix it, got all the snow off of it. And later, maybe this afternoon or tomorrow, I'll take the buddy heater out and we can uh, sit and wait for Squatch in the minus 20 with the heater. So while my wife is off getting grandma, the kids are napping because they partied so hard this morning with all their new Christmas stuff, I thought we could take 20 minutes, run out to the snow machine, pull the cover, get the snow off of it, and just see if it starts. I've got an hour, and I've been working on Tom's snow machine with him all week, and I think we're down to fuel pump, and we actually have a spare fuel pump that we can put in his later. But for now, I think mine, if I boost it, hopefully, Knock on wood. Let's go try it. Let's just, I've got an hour. Let's try it. And this is for Sandra because she thought I was joking. I wasn't. I got my wife a vacuum for Christmas. <laughs> I stand by the fact that it is a robot vacuum and that thing docks itself, empties itself, diagnoses itself, and you can set it up on your phone, schedule it on your phone, tell it which rooms to go into or not go into. What a crazy world we live in. Crazy. So we had dad over last night for Christmas Eve and uh, had a few drinks and some snacks. My mom's coming over this afternoon. She likes to play board games, so I'm gonna have to have a Christmas beer. What makes it a Christmas beer? The color, the color of the can. So I'll have one of those later. <laughs> but uh, for right now, what I wanna do is I wanna grab this booster. We've got a GB uh, lithium booster here, NOCO, GB40, which I haven't used since last year. But if you guys remember, we ran wires off the battery in the, in the snow machine out under the seat and back through the little tool case at the end. And the, the wires just stick out the back. So we just have to unzip it. I can plug this in and hopefully the snow machine will start. Um, I did treat all the fuel. I did leave fuel in it this year because the guy up at the... Uh, uh, Articat place said, no, you can leave your fuel in there. As long as it's stabilized and treated, you should have no problem. Uh, you know, just leave a quarter tank in there 
and then top it up with new fresh stuff which will mix through and that way it should be good um but you don't want to leave a full tank in case something happens then you gotta which is the problem we ran into with tom's over here is we had to pump it all out we weren't sure if there was water in it and we're we're pretty sure we're, we've we've tried everything with tom we've got new spark plugs in there um you cleaned the carbs did all that stuff we're pretty sure it's the fuel pump on his but uh we'll know when we change it so as you guys can see we don't have a super high amount of snow because there's my well right there so we've only got i don't know nine inches of snow which is probably just the bare minimum to get the sleds out and running and hopefully we're going to get more here in the next few weeks but i'm i'm late this year and even looking at mine i mean it's a it's a 2018 it's a brand new sled why do i have so many problems well Partially because I didn't grab the key, that's going to be a problem. It's not going to start without the key. Be right back. <laughs> I have not touched the machine in uh, six months. So we'll see if it's going to run. What is the chance that this thing would actually start without me having to put the booster on it? Probably pretty slim, but let's try it. Oh, there is power. Nope. All right, let's get the booster hooked on it. All righty. Ha, look at that. Who's smart now? This guy. Okay. Come on. Oh. Sometimes if we just leave the booster hooked on for a minute. Hey, there we go. Sometimes I even make myself look good. Literally just left that on there for two minutes, and then it worked. So now what we'll do is I'll drive this up to the front of the garage, and I'll actually hook the booster onto it and fully charge that battery in there. Because it's Christmas Day, and I'm not going to go riding for two hours, so... This was just, you know, to kill an hour and see if we could get the sled running. I forgot to put a pallet under the skis, so they are frozen to the ground, so we're going to have to hot water them out. That's okay, we're just letting the machine idle back there. Company's all here, so I'm gonna let you guys go. Sleds plugged in and charging. That's the Christmas update. Hope you guys are having a good Christmas. Catch you in a couple days.